and welcome back to tutorial 2 okay let's exit go back to our coding area now the bottom 8 paste that of 7 in there and change it around repeat exactly the same thing for bottom 9 paste it there that's 9 4 that's 4 up there change that to 4 you can see the object name cmd4 okay 5 repeat exactly the same thing for 5 now I need 6 okay okay let's go for 1 we are almost there so that's 1 now we need 2 let's go for 2 we have two now we need three so all of the buttons are ready now to be used but we cannot carry out any calculation or anything I need so if I run this program if I run it right now you might be wondering why did I enter zero zero here guess what you can add one you can enter more than one zero on your display so let's run it and see if I click on 2 and I intend to keep entering zeros that's why I programmed the zero buttons like that okay let's clear it's now working mode is now working division multiplication minus none of those are working yet so let's take care of those now double click on the plus sign that's the plus sign right there in the case of the plus sign that's supposed to be F stands for first number just being lazy or maybe just give a well F that's fine I might as well just change it to first number let's go back up there and change it to first number right here first number and that will be the second number that is entered second number that's fine and this will be my answer there that's my operators or operands okay double click on this and just enter first number equals lbl display dot caption wrong spelling of display dot caption okay then we want to get rid of whatever content is inside lb or display come in here paste it and say equals get rid of that then the open in this case equals the plus sign so that's that taking care of copy come in here double click on minus paste that in there change that to subtraction sign repeat exactly the same thing for multiplication sign change that to multiplication sign and come in here double click on division sign and change that to division sign and now let's take care of the modulus and change that to modulus sign so all of the signs are ready okay now um we might as well just take care of the decimal button and that is the lines of code for the decimal button there so all that is left now is declare let's see clear we can just clear copy yeah i'll just like to do my this way enter zero there clear it and enter a zero so the last will be the the equals so with the equals let's just go for second number equals lbl display dot caption equals second number and if operator equals equals the plus sign then answer equals the first number 
plus second number there and now lbl display dot caption equals answer and that is that for the plus sign so let's take care of any of the other operators so this one will be subtraction okay using else if if you guys notice then else if as well click and change that to maybe multiplication change this to multiplication as well come on down here and enter division division taken care of and we have our mode right there and just change this to the to the mode function and just enter and if so that's the calculator taken care of so if we run our program now we can we can compute using this calculator you see that 96 mode whatever is to if we clear that and just say maybe 42 multiply by 2 and that's it 90 divide let's divide it by 3 that should give us you know the answer 30 so the calculator is working as expected but the rest of these are not working as we want so yeah we have to carry on some coding and this doesn't work neither does this work so just the calculator so let's double click on this total and start with the coding right here double click on that up a little bit so come up here and just take that up so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, enter the following lines of codes so let's say lbl subtotal dot caption equals get rid of that okay that's for that is for my subtotal this will be for my let's make this for the tax that's for the tax and this will be for the total so i just want the system to get rid of whatever is in there but before then let me just show you the subtotal tax and the total there they are subtotal tax total you can see the names that's total tax subtotal so back into our coding area but before I continue, I might as well just assign as follows to my combo box. Let's change this to initialize. Initialize form. User form initialize. That's it right there. Okay, let's bring it up. Yeah, that's my user form. Taking that up. So when my form, when the system initialize, I want the following my combo box one dot add item the very first item would be let's say that would be nothing that would be zero okay and i can then add other items to that then followed by as follows okay this will be let's go for leads right there now the next one is let's go for man city manchester and edinburgh go for edinburgh there followed by glasgow there and maybe i need one more let's enter one more here let's make that pristine let's go for pristine pristine lens all right so if i run my program now what will happen is name of you can see this the name of those cities you can just select any one so if any of these cities are selected and you choose any of these you can then carry out the calculation okay so let's move this up okay that's fine 
let's continue with our total now total calculation click on that well as you can see the total calculation has sped I've actually speed that up so what I would then do is use if statement to get the following so let's say if right up there if me dot frame as frame 2 okay if you want to know where frame 2 is this is frame 2 right there I'll show you the name that's frame 2 can you see it okay back into my code coding area where is that that's it right there frame 2 if frame 2 dot combo box let's see if it's there combo box combo box 1 dot value I just enter my value there anyways equals leads okay close that and me dot frame me dot frame that's frame 2 as well dot up standard as my standard dot group dot group name equals let's call that that's a, that's called class traveled right. and up standard dot value equals true then I want the following to take to take place so what I want the system to now do for me is carry out the following well let me show you before I continue let me show you the group name because you might be one where are the group names back onto my form right here I have actually grouped together one two and three one two three so let's see go to the property right in here to group name that is it right there can you see it these three components are known as they belong to one group known as class travel and let's come here this one they are known as ticket type okay and these two other objects they are known as adult child look at this adult child as well so that's how you group your option buttons okay now close that let me go back to my coding area so right here now i would then say if you might be wondering that's an that's a nested if i'm using if single dot value equals true then the following should take should take place travel which is one of the variable i declared up there travel cost equals tax plus mile k70 so let me just speed this up and you guys we i'll show you the codes okay this is how the lines of code are looking right now let me close this so that you can see the rest of these codes all right so take it from here down okay, and that's just for one of the cities and that's the city's leads look at it leads so that's the only one i've done so far okay take it take it from the top right here look at the lines of code of codes Alright, and that's the end of the very first city. I have about four more to do. Alright, that's the end of tutorial 2.